Hey everybody, welcome back to No Jump News. It's Adam22 here with your man AD. Let's get right into these stories. So first off, Trey Songs has been arrested following an altercation with police during the Kansas City Chiefs game on Sunday, according to TMZ. During the game, Trey was being wrestled by a police officer in the stand. Footage emerged of Trey actually like wrestling with the police officers in the stands. The two minute video footage was obtained by TMZ and shows Trey allegedly punching the officer and putting him in a headlock before getting pinned down to the seat. You can hear people in the crowd yelling, get off of him and arrest the cop during the footage. <laughs> Witnesses stated that the cop was out of line, explaining that Trey was being heckled by fans a few rows up. When Trey asked them to chill out, the officer approached him. The witnesses say that Trey was caught off guard and started trying to defend himself when the cop got physical. Eventually, backup arrived and Trey was placed in handcuffs and taken in. He was booked for trespassing, resisting arrest, assaulting a police officer, two misdemeanors, and a low-grade felony. Updated reports confirmed that Trey was later released from custody early Monday morning. Okay, so we're checking in with AD, our special Trey Songs correspondent. He knows all about the Trey Songs news. What's going on? How you feel about this one? Man, that's my guy, man. I, you know I'm fucking biased when it comes to my homie, but on some real shit, they said the motherfucker got aggressive with him, and uh. he put that punk in his place. I'm happy. They need to get that nigga a wrestling sco- uh, a sponsorship or something like that. Right. Because that was a nice chokehold, bro. It's hard to imagine... Trey, like Trey Song has been in these positions a million times. He's he's been famous for you know twenty fucking years. He's probably had a million people try to say shit to him on the street, say some stupid stuff, whatever. I really doubt that he took this situation to an extent. You know, like if there was video footage of Trey Songs assaulting one of these people who was heckling him, then you would understand it. But it doesn't sound like that was the case. It sounds like the cop really took it to the next level, um, which is unfortunate. But I mean, it looks like racism to me. Yeah, hey, I mean, if you're Trey Songs. I, I, you know, a lot of times we end these kind of segments being like, oh, you know, if, if you're as famous as Trey Songs, you got to be able to move right. You got to rah, rah, rah. But I mean, it, it doesn't really seem like he was doing anything all that out of the ordinary. It seems like he was just trying to enjoy a fucking sporting event with his friends, right? And then this, this racist cop comes and attacks my friend. Mm. And you know what he got? He got the chokehold of a lifetime. And they're trying to throw a felony on him? Uh, you're going to make my man a felony? My man, he's my friend now, too. Uh, <laughs> you're going to put a felony? I, I know it's not going to like stick, and I'm sure he will not actually end up a felon because of this situation. Although, I don't know. like Putting a cop in a chokehold like that, you think, what, would you think that they're going to actually really put this on him? I think that if the cop went in out his way to do that shit, of course he's going to try and say that shit. I don't think now he has oxygen left in his brain to uh, comprehend. Yeah. That nigga could not move. And Trey did it like, he did it like real real smoothly. Like, you could tell he was in good? MMA classes. Are you good? Yeah. Are you good? Are you good? You think that like that cop is probably going to have permanent brain damage? He can't remember his birthday anymore? Fuck his birthday. Fuck his birthday. <laughs> And we don't give a fuck, it's not your birthday. Okay, next story. Soldier Boy is facing some pretty grave allegations. According to recent reports, Soldier's former assistant filed a lawsuit with the Los Angeles Superior Court accusing him of sexual assault. The unidentified woman who is filed as Jane Doe claims that Soldier held her hostage, created a hostile work environment, sexually assaulted her, and neglected to pay her the wages she earned as his employee. The lawsuit alleges that Soldier required her to be available at all times to clean, cook, chauffeur, stop his hair and perform personal assistant tasks with a pay rate of $500 a week. A few weeks into her employment, she states the soldier began sending her unsolicited photos of his penis. A brief consensual relationship developed, but ultimately turned violent. According to the docs obtained by TMZ, the woman says the soldier was often jealous and enraged, once kicking, body slamming, and punching her repeatedly in the head. After one argument they had while driving, she alleges that he pushed her out of the vehicle and forced her to walk five miles. On multiple occasions, the woman says that he locked her in a room with no mattress, food, or water. Additionally, she claims the soldier allegedly threatened her saying, I should have killed you. She is suing for sexual battery, assault, false imprisonment, and infliction of emotional distress. Soldier Boy's representatives have denied the allegations to TMZ stating, Soldier would never put his hands on a female, he wouldn't beat a woman or put his hands on a woman, and they called the allegations nonsense. Addressing the lawsuit against him directly, Soldier stated, I vehemently and unequivocally deny these allegations. I am in contact with my legal team and the appropriate legal action will be taken against these lies. Soldier Boy. This nigga's not R. Kelly, bro. That's you, what she's making him seem like. You're not buying it? Nah. Mm-hmm. Why? What, what exactly makes you think that this one doesn't seem... In the context, legit? it says that a like a romance happened, correct? Mm. So she was probably fucking and sucking, 
And he probably pulled that money and now she wants to destroy him. A lot of people lie about shit like that. From my perspective, this is why if you're a soldier boy, you just can't be having an employee without a proper NDA in place and stuff. Like you just like this, this is just not the kind of scenario that you need to be in where you have somebody working for you and then they're going to be running around describing everything. I, but at the same time, this is my thing about Soldier. We watched his 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 Breakfast Club interview. We watched his um, his Everyday Struggle interview at the time. He's definitely somebody that we're all curious about because we've all, to one extent or another, we've all just been wondering what exactly is up with his mental state. Like, what kind of person is Soldier these days? Exactly, what does he do when he's not on camera? Like, who is he? And it's like that's what's unfortunate about this is that this is opening up some sort of space. For people to be like, oh, maybe Soldier Boy really is a weirdo because because we don't necessarily know what he's up to all the time or whatever. But I mean, it's unfortunate that he was in prison for a long time. He comes home and like when you see Soldier Boy, you really see somebody who's trying to avoid the bullshit. Like there's a lot of stuff that has happened over the past year or so that Soldier could have reacted to and he didn't. And I think uh, you know it's unfortunate that uh, this stuff is making it hard for him to just be this chill Twitch streamer that he's trying to be. And that's and that's why I was like. Listening to it like he left, he locks you in a room without water. Mm. Like, eh, I don't buy that. I, R. Kelly, I buy it all day. That sounds like some shit he would do. You ever make a girl walk five miles home? No, I haven't I made a woman do anything but love me. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> well, shout out to Soldier. We wish you the best in these uh, trying times. Okay, YouTube, do us a big favor like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be back real, real soon. Right? <laughs>